hello friends uh, welcome back to this series uh, so in the last part we have started the installation of uh, SCCM let's look uh, whether it is completed or not uh, yes it has been completed with uh, you know or uh, successfully uh, install all the components it, and it has been verified so here we can uh, see the log also uh, one more thing I can tell you see it is very difficult to find out the log over here let me uh, Full thing here so it is very uh, difficult to find out you know uh, logs how it is you know uh, what the uh, things has been performed uh, sequence so for that what we need to do we have to be install uh, um, yeah we have to be install one tool which we can this is the CM test which we can easily track the logs and we can see the sequence wise so now if you open this log yeah so uh, here we can see uh, what the uh, task has been performed and uh, in which sequence it has been performed whether it is completed or not uh, so we can do it right so it is failed to confess a manager distribution uh, documentation skip it it's not required documentation no so but rest of the thing it's done uh, successful begin automatic update detection complete configuration and server setup it has been completed if you look at this all right so this is the tool we can use for the uh, track the logs okay and uh, whenever we install the SCCM uh, 2012 at that time we will uh, receive some logs so that log will be located here if you look at here these are the logs has been uh, you know um, created at the time of installation so uh, so here this uh, same log which we have opened that log will define uh, about the uh, system setup uh, system center configuration manager setup okay and there are the other logs also we can uh, find out uh, admin setup and configuration admin UI setup and this is what extend ad schema that we uh, whenever we extend the schema at that time we received this one i think you might be remember this is sms tvs so here also oh, you know you will get logs so you get to know that so this is the logs will be created while installing the SCCM. So remember so it will uh, require you know um on the future okay lesson so let's close the lock let's close this window and uh, any window is open so you also close these things also and uh, these things need to be closed nothing is required right so now we close it here and uh yes exit so now we need to check uh the sccm console i think system center configuration manager able to see yes see here the configuration manager console new so you can right click or uh, pin it to taskbar so uh, every time we are not supposed to you know search over here and um, do this thing so go to the desktop now so now the console is here so you can click over the console and it will open yeah so it started to connecting the uh, site database uh, that is what mum right yeah it's a very good i am really excited to see this console also because it is very different from sccm 2007 so here if you see this is the divide in two pens one is right fan and it's left fan right fan and left fan so right fan the options are there and it will describe in the sorry left fan the options are then right fan it has been described all these things there are the four uh, main point main sources are here where uh, all things are hierarchy in, in a hierarchy way it has been structured all right so first is the administration console administration option so here you can see the site configuration we first need to check the site configuration yeah it has been created right this is the primary site which is we given the mum at the time of configuration right this is the primary site and active the site code is mum okay and the uh, server site system roles yeah it's a primary uh, site the system roles okay 
so oh, it has been done now we can go to the monitor okay here we can see the system status or I mean site hierarchy if you want to see the site hierarchy also you can see this because we have only the primary site right there is no secondary or other sites right so that's the reason it is showing and it has been okay there is no error right that's the reason it's showing okay and the system status also here um, you can find the uh, site status all things are perfect and okay and all components has been installed and server roles also installed what roles has been installed the management point distribution point component server site database server site database server these things has been installed and the component status uh, here we need to say yes everything is perfect and these are two things it's a warning not an issue uh, we will look in later but it's uh, all overall it is okay it looks fine and so we can perform our uh, everything i mean we have uh, successfully perform a uh, successfully install the ccm 2012 so i hope guys it will really really help you and uh, and it will help build your uh, environment in at home uh, for the test environment at a home so you can create the way I uh, told you like the way I you know explain you all these things uh, the step by step uh, definitely will help you out to uh, make your own environment right so go to the library software library here also if you go to the uh, all software updates software updates group and packages also you will get the operating system also you can deploy so yeah, that we will look at later but uh, if you go to the asset and compliance here the devices will come okay and uh, sccm01 it's no client no client no client these clients these are the default two things 86 unknown computer this default uh, two computers will come whenever you install remember this thing these are the two uh, objects will uh, you will uh, you know it will reflect reflect in device console I mean device uh, so but there is no client right this is not the client but its default will be uh, here will come okay for the 64 and 86 and user collection so these are the collection are there for user and device collection also uh, there otherwise we can create right uh, now what we will do we will uh, go to the software and library uh, here mm, no not software level go to the administrator and here uh, go to the hierarchy configuration uh, it's a boundaries so the first and important part is uh, the boundaries whenever you install the sccm uh, server if you build the sccm server the next point is the boundaries so boundary is playing the important role to discover the client i mean client means only the internet clients not the internet clients so internet uh, internet uh, client will be uh, discovered through the boundaries only the we we structured the way we have created the boundaries okay so boundary group is nothing it's a collection of boundaries it is used when we you know deploy the application you no know, deploy the software to the uh, devices clients at that time we need to add the boundary group okay so to creating the boundaries i think you understand the boundary right boundary is a uh, you know kind of things where it's important part of thing where uh, the internet clients will be discovered uh, by the boundaries so let's create the boundary so for the more understanding so we can uh, give the boundary name i mean description uh, i can give uh, it's a uh, uh, mum mdc1 office okay this is the mdc1 is i mean it's mumbai one office or uh, okay that's very perfect but the type of boundaries there are different type of boundaries i will explain you about this ip subnet active directory site and ip version 6 prefix and ip address range so we can provide uh, you know uh, we can uh, define the boundary with the uh, four elements as per your requirement so what i will do i will give the choose the ip address range so what ip address range it's 192 
192, 168, 1. I can give you a uh, 50. That's perfect, right? So this is uh, so the the client will discover with this range of IP only. If this is the different range of IP, then this site code cannot be assigned to client and cannot be discovered, right? So remember these things. So, so this is what the IP address range is. Okay, I have created the IP address range of this, and one more boundary group I can create here. Uh, only the MDC one. Uh, Uh, what given the name mdc1 office right uh, one mdc1 office office uh, but uh, site sorry ad site right ad site so here i can choose active directory site so you need to choose the there should be a different in production admin but there should be a different sites but here uh, as of now i have the only one site that is a default uh, I can show you how or you can define the site if you go, this is the our DC so log in the DC I will show you the site okay let's come to the system server again yeah it's a default site if you look at it has been or uh, discovered that default site name is one site is available only if there are the multiple site then it will be display over here you can choose as for your requirement and which site you want to deploy right so go to the dc so i will show you where site is available when we were create the you know uh, promote as a dc at that time only it has been created to go to the tool or we can uh, I mean site will site is nothing it's uh, define the geographical location okay active directory site and services uh, just wait it is refreshing the solution we are unable to you know uh, launch this site okay see if you see this here it is uh, refreshing yeah it's done so now we can do it uh, active directory site and services go to the tools and uh, select the active directory site and services remember guys site is nothing it define the geography location let the open site and service console yes what the site we available see default site is there right we are nothing created right the servers if you go to the site uh, this is the server okay entity is setting that it's it's not in part of this course so you know leave it this is the my site default site is there so again go to the here so i can select this one and press ok so the site also created right apply ok so uh, you people understand how we create the boundaries and what is the use of boundaries right now we will create the boundary group and we can add the I told you that boundary group is nothing it's a collection of boundaries and it will help you at the time of deployment of application software and updates to your um, as in I mean uh, clients SCCM clients right so let's create the boundary group same thing you need to right click and create the boundary group give the name Mumbai BG Mumbai sorry Mumbai BG boundary group here uh, we can add the boundaries there are two boundaries are there just click over you can click two or as for your requirement you should be great because this is a testing environment that that's the reason I am doing anything so it's not you know um, you know if anything goes wrong also I can set up right but in production you should be care about you should be planning before you know doing this thing because this is the first and very most point of SCCM okay there should be a structure this to should, should be a strategy there should be a planning while creating the site because you define the geographic location so according that way you have to be defined over here right Let's press ok so there are two boundaries are added in the boundary group that means whenever i record then i can use that instead of putting the single boundaries i can put the boundary group right 
so you go to the reference use boundary group for the site assignment see you need to be a uh, check mark this box otherwise your client cannot be you know um, discovered so this is the Mumbai head of fish right this is one side we have not different side one server and one side the testing and moment and system roles nothing is there so you just uh, no need to give the things right if you if it's there then you can do it but yes our company you can put it this also not an issue okay mum site so now you just press the okay okay so now we learn how what is the boundaries and what is the boundary group and what is user boundaries and what is the user boundary group and how it create and how it use right so i think you people are uh, understand uh, regarding the console and the regarding this boundaries and boundary group later we will discuss uh, one by one stop uh, you know stops of SCCM. so where uh, we can perform all these things so but guys do not forget to like my video if you really like and do not forget to uh, subscribe my channel uh, to getting the new videos uh, in future if I upload it right so definitely we will complete this course uh, you know uh, to you know um, set up your live environment at, uh, at your home right so thanks for watching this video we will see you on the next video thank you very much